Hello, people! My name is Rage, and welcome, one and all, to Ark Survival Evolved. This, this is a thing. So, what has caught my attention about this game? Well, a lot of you have probably heard of it, but let me just put it in one sentence. This is the latest in a long list of survival games that like to keep popping up. Granted, most of which turn out to not be overall that good, but this one... Well, this one lets you ride a dinosaur into a battle while wielding a machine gun. So, I mean, that by itself, it's it's tempting, isn't it? So I thought I'd jump in and give it a go. And what I will say straight away is that this game does look very nice. As far as all the survival games go, this has definitely got them beat graphically. This is a pretty cool looking game, especially the dinosaurs when we get to them. So if you'll excuse me while I punch the hell out of this tree, and what's actually, okay, so what's pretty cool then is, uh, while I do get the Minecraft level of resource tree punching going on, it does, oh, okay, wow, feel my fists of fury, for I fell the trees. It does actually look, hurt me to punch a tree with my bare hands. That's really neat. So I've unlocked a few little recipes. You have this kind of weird gem in your hand, and you're supposed to, like, work out the law of the game as you explore the island, because there's, like, this big tower magical thing in the distance, and at night time it lights up, and there's, there's something not quite right here, and I kind of like that as a theme. So can I actually make anything? Not yet. I'm going to have to get myself some stone. As you can see, my character looking pretty good, Tiny legs, but gorilla body. Let me just say the character creation. <laughs> you can make some. Oh, okay. You can make some freaks of nature. So look at this majestic beast. How are you doing? What are you? You are a brontosaurus. This I do love. How cool is that? The like shaking of the ground. <laughs> okay, I want to punch it. Yeah, yeah, get punched. What is up? Oh, God. Oh, it does not seem to be a fan of me doing that, actually. I think we'll probably just back away. That's... Is it walking side... Wait. I have a feeling it, it's not... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's... <laughs> I didn't think it would be this freaking vengeful. I just punched it in the leg. It's still after me. Please leave. Please. I mean, that's pretty neat. I mean, punching a brontosaurus in the leg and having it chase you down a beach. That's how I want to start my survival adventures. It really, really is. All right, so I want to kind of head inland then, I guess, just a little bit and see if I can do anything. Now, we do get berries and fibers from plants, which is nice. Berries are very much needed because they keep you fed, they keep you a little bit hydrated. They're basically your basic food source from what I can gather. I also think you may be able to offer berries to dinosaurs. Parasaur, okay. I'm going to try and see what happens if I offer some berries to this thing and just see if anything happens here. I don't really know how to do it per se, because that just lets me eat them. So maybe there's a specific way to be like, here, have my berries. I, 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 I don't know. I think really what we need to do is just punch it in the tail. Did, did I just, did I? Did I just knock it out with one punch to the tail? I just... I just knocked it out with one punch to the tail. A Parasophilorus. This isn't a Parasophilorus. Oh no, it is actually. It's a Parasaur. So maybe I... Maybe I can? Requires level 5. So I need to level up. Oh, I'm actually pretty close to level 5. I need a little bit more XP, so maybe we can get there and see what's up. But the point is, with my fists of fury, I did a dino beatdown on this mother-trucking parasaur here. Maybe I need to be the level in order to... Ooh, put food in inventory to tame. Ah. Okay. 
So I'm giving it my berries, my seeds, and then maybe... Oh, taming affecting a 76%. This is exciting to me. This is exciting. Can I put a saddle on it now? I feel like I should be able to. Maybe I just have to wait for it to do it. Or maybe it likes different types of berries. Let's go grab medjo berries. It did like a man berries. It did like a man berries. Let's try giving it some of them. Yes, yes, it likes a man berries. Does it like major berries? It does like major berries. So we got to keep going to find more of them. Quick, quick, go. More man berries. Brilliant. Let's grab some of them. Narco berries. It wasn't a fan of narco berries. I am really trying my best to match up freaking berry likes to this dinosaur. That's kind of a neat thing to have going on here. Do you like those? Do you like azul berries? You like those? You do like azul berries as well. A man berries, we know you like them. Medja berry, yes, doing pretty well. How are we doing? Oh, we're kind of low on the whole taming thing. Taming effectiveness, 68% here. So we're probably gonna need something a little bit more effective than this. So maybe I can try and just get a crap ton of berries at once and see if I can power it all the way to the finish. That might actually happen. How am I doing myself? Okay, so let's go get a load of them. I, I mean, I didn't expect this to happen. This is kind of exciting. I mean, I am going to make it eat a goddamn ton of berries if it means I can ride me a dinosaur. I don't care. I will, I will, I will stuff it down its throat. I will go down its throat myself with the berries and slowly dissolve them for it in its stomach if I can ride a dinosaur. That's how committed I am to the riding of this dinosaur. I, I, I swear by all the dinosaurs. I'll grab this plant as well. I'm a little bit keen to ride a dinosaur. That I will admit. Okay. Hello to you. I have got a lot of offerings now. Have some major berries. Do you like them? You do like them. Have some tinto berries. Have eight of them. Just go for it. Some stim berries. There you go. Lots of berries. How are we doing? You're slowly eating through them. Really? Oh, pistol. There we go. So let's actually scroll down. That's definitely some sort of saddle contraption. And again there. So for more advanced dinosaurs, I would say. And then, yeah, it looks like actual body armor and stuff. There we go. An assault rifle at level 55. A bazooka and a minigun turret. That is what I want in my dinosaur world. I want a bazooka and minigun goddamn turrets. Where have I even put them? Am I just literally here like... Oh god, don't punch it. Don't punch it. Calm down, self. Am I just straight up like, EAT MY BERRIES! EAT MY BERRIES! Okay, it's getting there. I have a feeling it's going to wake up. Which is... Oh! Is it? Is it? Nope. Okay. Okay, now it's not getting knocked out. Now it's just very much... It's not... Okay, come on, come on, come on. No, no, we got this. We got this. You are being punched. You are going to be my dino mount. I don't care. You don't have a choice in this. You do not have a choice in this. I am going to punch the crap out of you. I never thought I'd find myself doing this, but it's, you know, a very enjoyable experience. So how do I don't want to accidentally kill it, but I mean, I guess I will make that sacrifice if it comes to it. You need to lie back down and accept my berries. Please. Just accept my berries. Where have you gone? Where have you gone? Over there. So a little bit framey. And one thing I have been noticing is that the optimization of this is not brilliant at the moment. But it is early access. Alright. Please accept my punches. Yay! What is up? What is up? Alright. Straight away. Here we go. Have your berries. That's lovely. So we should, in theory, this time, have enough berries to fully... At least I hope so. Can we put thatch in? We can put thatch in. Does it like fiber? We'll give it some fiber, I guess. I have no idea if that's going to make it more effective. Oh, it's 76.5% effective. Maybe. Let's actually move on to something approaching crafting. Let me just punch the hell out of this tree while this dinosaur begins its taming rounds. I'm going to knock you down. I'm going to knock you down. There we go. I'll eat some berries myself, just to make sure all is well with the world. Okay, so let's grab ourselves a stone pickaxe. Alright, fairly simple crafting system there, then. I do like that you basically choose what recipes you know as you level up, instead of just sort of random discovery. So, I can certainly get behind that. Okay, so we get some flint. Just flint. 
And some stone, of course. All right, so that's a fairly... Whoa! I crack boulders asunder with my mighty swings! That's kind of nice. I, I, I'll admit, I do kind of like that. So the real question is, how do I heal up the parasaur? That's what I really want to do. Can I craft something? Maybe not the spear. Probably wouldn't go too well if I crafted the spear. It would be a little bit upset. Can I use the pick on a tree? I mean, I doubt I can. Oh, here we go. I can technically do it. And I'm getting that. And I'm actually getting wood as well. So maybe I just need to slowly get enough wood from doing this in order to create a hatchet. Which will, of course, let me get more wood. And, you know, it's all about getting that wood. <laughs> that's, uh... That's my, uh, it's, it's hilarious. That was definitely hilarious by me. Okay, so we got ourselves a stone hatchet. So that's all well dandy and good. Let me go into my endograms over here. Engram even? Who cares? I don't care. You think I care? Nobody cares. Ooh, a Philoma saddle. Equip a Femioma with this to ride it. Ah, so we can find other things as well. I mean, I guess I should learn that. It makes sense to have it available to us. Thatch foundation, thatch doors. Let's learn a thatch wall and a thatch foundation and do a little bit of the building here. I mean, towards the end of the video, we may just have a sprint in land and see if we can get eaten by a T-Rex or something fun like that. But you never know. So we need a load of wood. Yeah, we basically just need to acquire some wood. So to the trees! How are you doing, taming-wise? You might get tamed before, but I feel like I need to come up with a much more effective taming method. And then we'll learn. Oh, I can't learn how to do the roof. I need to level up again. No! How are you doing? Yeah, you're not taming before before that happens. That's a shame, though. That is a very, very big shame. I would have loved to get to experience the dinosaur, but I guess I need to figure out the berries that it absolutely loves, as opposed to just any old berries that it will technically eat. I mean, it's a shame that I can't keep my progress. Can I keep it unconscious? What happens if I punch it again? Does that, like... Does it keep it unconscious? Oh, it does! So I can just keep punching it in the head... Yay! I can just keep punching it in the face! I mean, granted, that did make the taming effectiveness go down. But at the same time, it's at the very least gaining more time. And then we'll get our door. I mean, I am just... I am basically Bob the Builder right here. Boom. Sweet. Oh, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Let's eat some seeds. There we go. So can I... I can demolish it, but can I close the door? I feel like I can't actually get into... Oh, no, I can, I can. But I feel like I should be able to get in through the door. Oh, I can, lovely. All right, so... Yeah, I mean, this seems to be pretty good. So it doesn't actually have a door on it, it's just a gap to get in. So maybe it's not the most effective of early game constructs, but I can totally see a tribe of people coming together as a village and... Oh, it ran out of food that it liked and is no longer being tamed. That is so upsetting. That is so, so upsetting. Amar berry! It does like Amar berries. I'm hoping that it remembers where it was trained to. Otherwise, this is just going to suck. At least I know I can eat the stim berry and I can eat this. Oh, we're back to the beginning. Fuck it. You know what? I'm killing this dinosaur. It's dead. I'm gonna kill it. It's annihilated. Die! Die, you failure! Ha 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 ha! Good. Ah, we actually get raw hide and meat from this. So that's probably a good idea. So I'll just keep axing the hell at this. I mean, it was gonna be a lovely dinosaur mount, but no. I've phased it out of existence. I did see something over here. What is this? An Anklio, a level 3 Anklio. Do I want to go for this? Do I want to wanna stab it? I want to throw a spear at it, maybe. Oh. Oh, I just... I didn't actually mean to do that. Ow! Oh my god! Okay, here we go. Here we go. Get axed! Get... Oh! <laughs> okay, so maybe trying to go one-on-one -on -one with an aggressive dinosaur... Not the best idea. It may have just caved my face in. That's my bad. That is my bad. Alright, so I think we've got a good grasp of how this... Whoa, is that a freaking woolly mammoth? 
Wild male mammoth. Okay, here we go, here we go. Whoop, 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 whoop. Do, 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 please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't. It didn't care. It just didn't care. And yes, you can tame flying dinosaurs. I've seen that happen. That is just ridiculous. Go on an adventure. An adventure of a lifetime full of frills and fantasies and lovely dinosaurs. And hopefully it doesn't end with us between the jaw of a T-Rex. But at the same time, hopefully it does end with us between the jaws of a T-Rex. So, so far then, it's neat. The dinosaurs are a fun gimmick, and the crafting system and everything is not really new. It's like Rust, it's like H1, it's like all of those survival games that just have stuff going for it. And, you know, whatever. But I think what this game really has going for it is that, yeah, dinosaurs are pretty damn nice, and they make things fun. <laughs> Also, graphically, it is very nice. Ooh, is that an argid Is that the saddle that I can make? Surely not. I feel like aerial taming is probably gonna be reserved for more advanced levels. It has to be, because that is... That seems too good to be true. I am really doing some mountaineering here. I wonder if anything's gonna be at the top of this. I mean, I do just like the area. It's very pretty, and it does feel like a weird scientific... You defecated. Did I? Did I? Oh! Oh! Oh, they're prey! They're birds of prey! Yep, okay, run! For the love of everything, run! I don't know what I expected. Oh god, we're out of stamina. There are a lot of things to keep track of. Your heat and your freezing and Jeez wants to kill me! I don't want it! Oh, I killed myself. Well. I don't know what I expected, really. I, I don't know what I expected there. I really did, did not know. What I expected. Oh, that's a Triceratops, at least. So we got that going for us. Ooh, we're kind of close to the Sky Pillar. All right, let's go have a little wander over to... The, what are you? A wild female Dilo. Hello? Oh, God! Jurassic Park memories! Oh, my God! I actually spat in my face! Oh, man, the humanity! I've barely got off the beach! Is it... It's at least... Surely it's not chasing me, though. I can't see anything! Oh, hello, Triceratops. You you just defend me. Defend me, boy, okay? You just annihilate that thing, and I'll leave. I will leave right the hell now. What are you? A Tsebikeni Penema. A Carbonemis. I do like Carbonemis. I'm a big fan of turtles. I do like them. They seem to be quality individuals. Okay, so irrelevant. Whoa! Okay. Well, this is one hell of a trench going on here feel like I don't want to fall down it. Fall damage seems quite severe in this game. So I think this is also kind of neat that this game does offer a lot of fun. Just you exploring the island and trying to survive its perils. Which is something a lot of survival games kind of fail to do. They kind of fail to make the environment actually threatening enough for you to care. And I feel like in this one they've kind of done it. Just because filling everywhere with aggressive dinosaurs and giant birds and just death round every corner... It's a nice way to make you feel like you don't just have to PvP all day. You can actually get your survival fix from combating the environment. So, that does seem pretty damn neat. I want to get to this pillar, though. I imagine there's something nice over there. And there's also a white light beam over in those trees. And I wonder how big the actual map is. It looks fairly sizable, but... You never know. Depends how long it takes to run. And I do somehow have to get across Dinosaur Trench of Death. There is some high dinosaur density in there. Are they just fighting? No, they're not fighting. I feel like I just want to see a massive dino brawl going on. That would that would be very satisfying. Hmm. This white beam looks a lot closer. I kind of want to go to it and just see what's up. I mean, maybe it's just a trick of the distance, but I could totally see some noble adventures awaiting. Or... You know, horrible death. I think horrible death is more likely to occur. I think you very much need to stay on the beach until you are equipped to move on in this game. That is for certain. But maybe it's some sort like of bonus. Maybe you get XP or a power up for getting there. Because, I mean, is this always been here? I don't even. I don't even know. Why am I even asking these questions? I just need to be a bold explorer and discover things. 
And there are sharks. I have seen a shark. So water becomes quite scary. And if there's sharks, there's probably giant crocodiles and the like. Which both makes me happy thematically, but also terrified. That is a bad way to go. Damn it, I'm not tired. Man up, character. Man up. We have a beam of light to go investigate. And as you all know, investigating is the way of life. Do I want to swim across this lake? What's the worst that could happen? Let's have a little look in the water before I commit to this. Okay, I don't see anything moving. That's probably for the best. Alright, yeah, nothing, nothing moving yet. I just have a horrible feeling that at any moment, I'm going to have a massive pair of jaws in my face. And it's the last thing my character's ever going to see. But no, it looks like this is a fairly calm lake. Just some nice, tropical, colourful fish. This seems neat. I am genuinely shocked that I am currently not being ripped apart by a shark. But I guess that's good. Oh no. No, I'm tired so I can't swim. That's dangerous then. Ooh, okay. So swimming actually provides quite the threat. I mean, the water's freezing. I'm running out of stamina. I'm running out of breath. That's not good. Can I please get out the water? I- I'm out the water, why am I suffocating? Oh god! Oh! Oh, what did I say? What did I say? No, please! Oh god, why? Why? I was- I nearly drowned to death, and then a shark! 10 out of 10 would swim in the lake again. And there's the white beam, taunting us. Taunting us with its presence. Fuck you, White Beam, okay? Fuck you. So this then, guys, has been Ark Survival Evolved. I got destroyed by a Megalodon shark. That is kind of terrifying. And I think it's got a lot of potential. It's neat. Dinosaurs are fun. There's nothing crazy original, but I mean, it's certainly going to be enjoyable. And it's still in early access. There's probably going to be a lot more to come. Oh, the beams just disappeared. So maybe it is something you can acquire and then the beam drops. Nice. Alright guys, my name's been Rage. Remember to like if you've enjoyed this. Let me know what you think about it. And yeah, this is a thing. Subscribe for more. A good... A good... Bye. It's just... Okay. Just a random... Random unconscious... Pete, I love that stone pick. I'll have some hide. I'll have your stone. Your fiber. Your thatch. Yeah, we'll have your wood. And yeah, I'll do. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks a lot, dude. Uh, good contribution there. Appreciate it. Don't question it. Oh, good boy.